Hi friends, welcome to Oracle Application Testing Suite video tutorials. So in my previous tutorial, I have explained how to install Oracle Application Testing Suite on your machine. So there I have suggested one way with which you can install it without any issues. And the way was, first you install the Oracle database on your machine and then you start installing the ports. So please go to that video uh, tutorial and uh, have a look at it. So this tutorial is basically after you are done with your installation, you should know what all products you will be receiving on your machine. So let's try to understand. So once we install Oracle application on our machine, we get all these different products which are on screen right now. So I'll say they you get an integrated solution where you get all these different products along with open script, which is the scripting platform in which we are going to create our automation scripts. We get a web logic server. We get Oracle XC database. So this database comes along with the OTS installation, but in my trick, I have suggested that we installed it separately. So we'll still consider it, consider it as we are getting it in the OTS. Along with it, we'll also get OTM, which is Oracle Test Manager, OLT, and Administrator. Okay. So these are the major products which we'll be getting and which will be working on on the daily basis, I'll say. So starting with Oracle Functional Testing, which is an open script. So this is the tool with which we are going to use for, for functional and regression testing. So we can automate web applications as well as Oracle applications using the open script. The another product we will be getting it is OLT. We also call it as Oracle test, Oracle load testing. So this OLT is useful to have, to perform a load testing on our applications and with which we will see a performance reports and graphs, right? So other product, which is Oracle test manager, the Oracle test manager is useful for us to perform test planning. We will add requirements, test cases, and so on. So we can do complete defect tracking, reporting, more, more of the things which we do in QC, right? Similar things we can also achieve in Oracle test manager. So let's try to understand the architecture or the functioning of these different products. So if you look at this diagram on my left, starting from Oracle functional testing and Oracle load testing and Oracle test manager. So how these different products communicate with each other or how they share a data with each other. So let's try to understand Oracle application testing suite, which we call it as an integrated solution for ensuring application quality performance and reliability. Okay. So let's understand this area which I'm highlighting right now. So let's consider <coughs> this is the Oracle open script with which you are going to create your functional or regression scripts, right? So using the functional scripts, you are going to test the complete application infrastructure. So which will have a web server, a database, different web services and so on. So basically you will write a functional scripts to test particular transactional flows or, or you will perform certain validations. So basically this arrow indicates you are performing a functional testing on the application infrastructure. Similarly, coming back to an Oracle load testing, you will be creating a load scripts using an open script, but to run them, you will bring it on the Oracle load testing product. So it's like creating a script using an open script platform and adding it in the Oracle load testing and then triggering the hundreds and thousands of virtual users to perform those particular load to, to create that load. So if you look at this, all the blue lines, this indicates the load testing. So if you look at here, something looking like a torch, these are nothing but monitors. So what the monitors is, as name indicates, something we, who monitors something, right? So what is the, exactly the monitor? So you will understand about monitors in detail in further tutorials, but right now, just, just understand in this way, right? There is something which monitors what we ask him to monitor. For example, I want a particular monitors uh, to monitor my CPU usage or uh, so some monitor will manage only my memory usage or some monitor will look after some other hardware parameter. So we have to set a different monitors like Java heap usage and so on. So we have to set a different monitors and those monitors will be responsible for monitoring the defined parameter, right? And they will monitor is nothing but they will send some statistics, which we call it as server stats. So the Oracle load testing will capture those server stats with the help of monitors and send back to the Oracle load testing. And using which we will generate a different graphs and reports, which will be helpful for us to identify the performance bottlenecks in our application. Okay. So this all blue lines indicate the Oracle load testing functionality. Coming back to these red lines. 
So as you see, some manager is sitting over here looking after his computer. This is nothing but Oracle test manager. So the test manager is <coughs> responsible for managing complete end-to-end -end test process management, including what all requirements added to it, what are the test cases are executed against to it, defect raised, and the complete defect management and everything. So all these three products are integrated to each other in such a way like whatever script you will create using open script, you can add it in the Oracle test manager so that someone can execute from test manager. You will create a load scripts and add it in OLT so that you can trigger hundreds and thousands of virtual users. The same load test, you can also add it in the test manager so that when you trigger from the test manager with the help of load testing, it will, it will start executing it. So this is the overall architecture of Oracle application testing suite. In my further tutorials, you will look at or you will learn the more functionality about Oracle application testing suite. And we will have a detailed look at it, what are different components we will receive once we install the complete Oracle application testing suite, including the different add-ons which we get in our Internet <coughs> Explorers or uh, uh, Firefox browsers or the different services which gets added on our machine and what these services are uh, used for what purpose and so on. Okay, So stay tuned, subscribe to my channel and uh, uh, like the videos or, 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 or please uh, uh, put some comments if you have any, I would like to answer them. Thank you.